so we went to Ikea today and I said I was only window shopping and that I wasn't gonna buy anything. We out here at Ikea, 8 p.m. When you ain't got no room in your cart. We are here at closing. It's nine. <laughs> it's freaking nine. The next day. Good morning party people. The girl partied a little too hard last night. So you guys saw that last footage and uh, we were there until probably almost 10 because a shenanigan happened. We got so many things that when we checked out, one of the, one of the pillow inserts actually dropped. And we didn't notice because literally the counter was filled with things and Shelly was literally scooping her arms under all of this and just putting all the stuff in the cart. I guess maybe while she was scooping, one of them fell off the counter and it fell at the clerk's feet and she didn't notice it either. So when we got to the car, we were loading up. We were just separating our things and counting things and we realized that one of the pillow inserts we're missing. So we we're like, oh no, 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 no. We we're going back. So we went back and this was already at closing time and it was like the last three customers checking out. We literally just went up there, tried to wait in line, but then realized that the insert was at her feet. And so they noticed that and they saw it and we said, oh, sorry, we just dropped that one right there. And we we're like hoping they would believe us. <laughs> but the clerk was super nice and the guy that was helping her was also very nice. So he was just like, all right, yeah, just get the line. And he gave it to us and we were on our merry way. We got back here at what, close to 11 or something or 1030. Yeah, we got back here at 1030, but then we didn't start eating dinner until 11 because we had to cook rice and then the new rice cooker wasn't cooking the rice so we waited this whole time for nothing so i decided okay it's probably better to just cook in the pot by now because we don't want to wait another 40 minutes so i cooked rice on the stove top for 20 minutes only and then we ate and then they were on their merry way by 12 <laughs> and sister stayed up until 2 a.m editing the last vlog so here we are guys Good morning. All right, so I've got a ton of stuff for you guys. Uh, as you can see from the thumbnail, I was holding a lot of pillow inserts and a lot of just pillows in general. So first thing I'm gonna show you is this Lundtrap king size pillow. And I was feeling all the pillows at Ikea and I felt like this one felt the best and it was not too bad of a price. It's $20 each for the king size. And I think the uh, queen size was a little less than that. So I got two of those. And then I got four of these 20 by 20s. These are also pillow inserts. Yes, I counted three yesterday and I was like, oh hell no, I'm missing one. So we have to go back. So this is four of them. And the reason why I'm showing you guys now is just because I'm so excited to set up my David. 
This is the only time I have to do it because I have a full-time job and also have a business and I do vlogging. So, and then, wait, let's show this later. I got the Salarnica twin size uh, duvet. And I felt like it was super, like I like the, the rustly feel and the sound from rustling. So this one was perfect. I think it was $35 a little, a little pricey to me, out of my budget. But I got it anyway, cause why not? Also, I didn't mention the name, but this is Fadrar or the 20 by 20 pillow inserts. And then for the pillow covers, I got two of the Ispig, these. I hope you can see that. This is what the picture looks like. It's so pretty. And it feels really nice too. On sale for five bucks each. And then I got these. Danella <clears throat> pillow covers for the 20 by 20 as well. Got two of them. I don't remember how much this was. I don't remember how much. I think this was like seven or eight bucks each. But this one is some tuta. Gosh, I'm butchering these names. I'm so sorry. Sabtuta king size pillow covers and as you can tell my theme is kind of like a neutral-ish beige because I want to keep it super neutral in here but the one thing that I wanted to get for this duvet cover was this mint colored um, duvet cover I'm so sad they didn't have it in stock so I went ahead and ordered it late at 2 a.m. last night as a reward for finishing my editing for my vlog. <laughs> so that's gonna come in the mail in three days and then I will show it to you guys and probably show you guys the finished day bed setup in this video as well. So look forward to that. So I'm really quirky and I don't follow traditional rules. This is the Joefred, I think I'm saying this right. Joefred um, blanket, it's very, very like soft. Um, and it's very natural colored. It was expensive. It was 30 bucks. I'm cheap, okay? This is 30 bucks. It has these, uh, I forgot what these are called, but these things at the end. <laughs> and it's it's supposed to be used as a blanket, but I think your girl is gonna be using it as the rug to add some color to this space. You guys see, I don't know if you can tell, but you see the color? It's gonna look real cute. And then I got this under rug thing called stock suit. And I'm going to be cutting it down so that it matches <clears throat> the size of this so it doesn't move around when I'm walking or when I'm vacuuming. So hopefully this works. I've heard good things about it, so we're gonna try it. Then I got two of these scub organizers. You can organize your drawers with these. This is what it looks like. That looks upside down. Um, it comes with two of each size, so you've got two big squares, two small squares, and then two little, not little, but two rectangular organizers. Maybe I'll show you guys how I use this in another video, but I'm very excited about these. This is going to help me organize my underwear drawer, TBH. Then I got a bread loaf pan because I have three bananas that are dying and I need to make banana bread ASAP and then I got oh my gosh I had no idea Ikea's candles smelled so good since we had so much time to kill yesterday and I was waiting for Shelly and Gary I, I just like wandered off to the candle section and oh my goodness this is I don't even know the names of these they're both the same name Sinwig Sinwig um, but I think you can tell them apart by the photos. This one is kind of like pears and apples, I think. And then this one is oranges and peaches. Oh my gosh, they smell divine. Honestly, almost all of their candles smelled so good. And for me, I am a stickler for candle scents. And I can't believe I actually liked like, like most of Ikea's candles. Because I don't like the kind of like fragrance or fake scents. Or the too strong scents, you know, the too pungent ones. But... These are actually really, really nice. And I had to stop myself from buying more. There was like this herb one that I really liked. They didn't have a big size, so I just ended up not buying it. Then I got this dish scrubber. I'm actually gonna be using this to clean my sink because <laughs> the one that I have on my sink is way too big. It's actually used for the bathtub, but I didn't have another one for the sink, so that's why 
went ahead and got this one. It's small and it, it'll fit into the little corners and crevices. So, And then lastly, I got these two organizers. They look like this. They have like a little indent here so that you can see. Um, this is going to be used to organize my pantry. And that is about it, guys. I am going to stop the haul here. And then I'm going to show you guys how I set up my day in bed. Start the B-roll. the green duvet cover comes in and I can't wait to see what it looks like but until then I'm going to enjoy this and uh, clean up because I got clean up oh and I also got to show you guys this rug I may or may not show in this video but yeah we'll see maybe Ryan can help me with it since he's coming over <laughs>
This reminds me of college. Always had <laughs> bananas that were too ripe. So I was always making banana bread. It was so good. And you guys saw that, that cookbook in like previous clips. That was actually a recipe book that I have for myself. And I just loved my banana bread recipe so much I wrote it in there. So I never forgot it. Still tried and true. Mm. Okay. Look at that day bed. It is a vibe right now. And this rug. Girl, this was the best idea ever. So once the duvet cover comes, I will show that to you guys. And then we'll finally have the finished look of the day bed. See you guys in three days. What's up, everyone? It is... Wednesday and guess what came in the mail. Let's open this Woo! I just came back from work and I am pooped and I've got worship practice to go to like very soon. So here is the Twin bird palm in mint green and I am super super excited you guys can you guys see that can you guys just see and paired with hello my plants my ever-growing collection of plants is gonna go super well and I'm very excited. Let's open this up, shall we? Yes! <laughs> it had a smell to it. Oh yeah, it comes with a pillowcase. I'm gonna wash all of this, but I wanna try it on my duvet first. This is the queen pillow. I think this is also... I feel like I can use this for the king. Maybe. Uh, I don't know. Maybe not. All right, let's go set her up. I will say this is a button up duvet. It doesn't have a zipper. Just FYI for anyone who wants zippers. And I'm personally really particular. I want zippers, but this color was the only color I felt could have matched my space. So I compromised and here we are setting this baby up.
been using this for a month and a half now and I gotta say guys it's very very comfortable but but if you want harder pillows <laughs> IKEA pillows are very very nice and they're also very cheap and affordable but I would say if you are looking for something a little more firm don't go for IKEA pillows or at least the ones that I went for because um, when you try to lay back on these they kind of sink like this <laughs> personally I don't mind and I also have some pillows on my bed right now that are very hard or firmer and I'm thinking of replacing them and putting them here but for now this is what it looks like I freaking love this day bed and the fact that I got this blanket and used it as a rug really really helped because now I'm able to pull the trundle out which I will show you guys in about a minute but yeah I hope you guys enjoyed how I put together this day bed it was so much fun well worth the investment in my honest opinion because I use this day bed like almost all the time when I have guests over or if I want to pull it out and just lounge and just watch shows or movies all day that's what I do this day bed has served me especially on work from home days where I want to take like an afternoon nap <laughs> I go on this day bed here I've had no issues with this day bed um, a lot of people have asked about the what's it called the the wooden planks and they haven't broken on me I would say that they are pretty cheap material so if you are planning on jumping around a lot on your couch or whatever I don't suggest you get this day bed but for me I'm like super careful and I don't I don't like to jump around on my couch anyway so <laughs> it works for me alright guys I'm gonna pull this trundle up to show you guys that you can actually use something as a rug underneath the Ikea Hemnes day bed but it has to be super 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 thin and like paper thin just like this blanket that I'm using as a rug it is possible but let me tell you <laughs> you gotta find something very thin like I said so I'm gonna pull this up and then I'm gonna show you guys me pulling it out You can tell that there is a little bit of a struggle, but not so much that you can't pull it out, as you can see. So if you want, there's actually two mattresses on here. What I usually do is I just take one of them and I put them over here and then it becomes a king size bed. Like this! I love lounging around on this. And it's huge, like look at my body. You can sleep here like jumping jack style if you wanted to, of course, but I have my own bed. But I love this day bed so much. And just like that, it goes from a twin size bed to a king size bed. Thanks again for watching this video, guys. If you guys enjoyed the content, make sure you give it a like, a thumbs up, and if you want to see more content, make sure you subscribe. I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye!